it is going to be a staggered start here for the final. And uh, as you see there, the Samson Stingers are in the lead. So they'll go off first. They'll have a couple of seconds lead over Bazinga Hotcakes. And then in third, we have Beasts four, uh, with 410 points. And then fourth, V-Town uh, CrossFit Bullies. Fifth, Pure Cane Train. Sixth, Three Tired Men. Seventh, Over Budget. And that is the top seven. Uh, we do have the top ten there for you, just to show you how uh, close it was, actually. Uh, FSB Bomb Squad. Beards and Beers and Clip Hart Carols just missing out on that final. So very, very close uh, between these foundational teams here at the battle, powered by Puma. And then next, we will have the scaled division. So don't go anywhere. It's going to be 20 minutes of action. Remember, staggered start here as we watch Samson Stingers. They'll start off and off they go. They got their buy-in first up. So they have a buy-in of Burpee over the line. Three synchronized and then 20 air squats, three synchronized. You'll see when they go into that, uh, that synchronized air squat, they're all going to have to face uh, to the right of your screen. So they'll stand over that yellow line and then face towards uh, the crowd on the right-hand side. And the sync for that is at the bottom and the top. All three athletes, all three athletes have to sync at the bottom and sync at the top. If one of them are out of tune, that will be a no rep. You can see the big lead that they have at the moment uh, over the tier, the rest of the teams. It's almost a full minute. And get ready here. Here comes the next team. Bazinga hotcakes are next out the gate lane number two now underway remember staggered start and not too far behind them off go the beasts in lane three they got some catching up to do here obviously 48 seconds behind the rest of the field next up will be v-town uh x-fit bullies and off they go they're not too far behind them. We got Pure Cane Train, and off they go now. And then our final team that's going to head out the gates is over budget. Our current leaders, they are on their calories now. Remember, once you start on a machine, you stay on that machine. You're not allowed swapping out. That is Samson Stingers. They now onto their calories on the salt bike, calories on a salt runner, calories on a salt rower. For the men, it is 35 calories on each machine. All the other teams still out there. Remember, they are way behind, a couple of minutes behind here as uh, they had to start on a staggered start, which means it was their points. So basically, if you had higher points, then the other team, that would determine how you would come out the gates. Let's see who gets off their calories first up. At the moment, we have Samson Stingers in the lead. In second place, we have Bazinga Hotcakes. In third, The Beasts. In fourth, V-Town CrossFit Bullies. In fifth, pure cane train. In sixth, three tired men. In seventh, over budget. So lane one had a 48 second head start of the rest of the field. Will they be able to hang on to that? We are soon going to find out. Remember, there's still 20 minutes. Well, it is a 20 minute workout. And of that 20 minute workout, there's 16 minutes, 40 seconds left. Probably a little bit less than that. Uh, our watch was just a little bit late on uh, the rest of that, the, the field. And if you're wondering what those white boxes are, it's just to uh, cover the screen because the glare is quite, quite crazy here. Yeah? It doesn't look too bad on screen, but to try to see your calories, it is quite hard.
and our Samson Stingers, they are still your leaders. they gone back into their second set of buy-ins. That second buy-in is once again 10 burpees over the line, has to be synchronized. It is at the bottom so they can wait for an athlete. And then they got 20 air squats to follow. But look at this. Lane number two is starting to eat into that lead. We got Bazinga Hotcakes hot on the tails of Samson Stingers. And lane number two, can you believe this? Lane number two, Bazinga Hotcakes are starting to catch up here. Right, so whoever crosses that line first will be unofficially your battle champions. Champions, Obviously, we'd have to go to the judges scorecard after that just to make sure that there weren't uh, any discrepancies or any no reps uh, where uh, a team might, be a, not, might not qualify for that win. So unofficially, whoever touches that mat first. And remember, all three athletes don't have to cross the line. I'm going to repeat that. They don't have to cross the line. It is whoever... Uh, in your team crosses that line first it will most likely be the person that is on the thrusters uh, in front that will touch that mat and that will stop the time for these athletes and at the moment as mentioned we have Bazinga Hotcakes they are hot on the trail of Samson Stingers at the moment they are really really starting to put the pedal to the metal and catching Samson Stingers yeah in this final workout And look at that. We have the team out there in lane six, it looks like it. Coming out of nowhere, three tied men. They might come out of this as your new leaders. Samson Stinger is starting to struggle here. They are falling off the pace while the rest of the field are catching up nicely. They got 30 worm cleans. They have to show control before they can drop that bag. And all these teams have caught up to the Stingers. Remember, Samson had a 48-second lead over the rest of the field, and that lead has diminished. Bazinga Hotcakes right up there, and here comes the rest of the field now. We're going to see who comes off that worm first. And it looks like Bazinga Hot Cakes have just taken the lead. They are your new leaders here. 48 seconds was the difference, and they are now your new leaders. V Town uh, CrossFit Bullies looks like they in second. And in third at the moment is lane number one. That is the Samson Stingers. Unbelievably have given up 48 seconds. Sorry, 68. I hear it was 68 seconds. So giving up a 68 second lead 
in that staggered start. And you can see there, they are not happy. They're calling their teammate to please hurry up. And he is starting to struggle here. And if they drop any further on this, they might fall out of the top three and lose a podium spot completely. Remember, winner takes all here. So first, second, and third in this heat, uh, in this final workout, will take that podium. And those points don't count anymore after this. And this man is struggling right now. It is really hot out there. And it looks like lane two, they've already uh, headed back. Yes, they are on their dumbbell snatches. they got to mirror each other on those dumbbell snatches. On those dumbbell snatches, it is 15 dumbbell snatches. And then they'll have 10 toes to bar, which is shared. They do not have to sink those toes to bar. See the rest of the field, yeah. They are now way behind. And uh, Bazinga Hotcakes are your new leaders and smiles on their faces there. But what an effort from that team. They were 68 seconds behind and they clawed their way back into this one. Currently in second. And then uh, our V-Town CrossFit Bullies, they are currently in second place. Looks like Samson Stingers are falling way, way off the pace. They are in danger of losing that bronze medal. V-Town CrossFit Bully is on your screen at the moment. They moving up. And now You'll see two athletes in the holding area, and then one athlete will move on to that toes to bar. You can see just to the right of your screen there, we got uh, Bazinga Hotcakes. They are currently your leaders, but not too far behind is uh, V-Town Bullies, CrossFit Bullies. They've made their way into the mixture, and now even fighting for that number one spot. It's going to be an interesting little finish here with eight minutes remaining. In lane three, it looks like the beasts are now looking for a podium spot here. Not too sure if they are in third. I haven't seen anyone else, but I think they are in third. That is correct. They are in third place at the moment. Beasts on your screen there at the moment. Three more reps for this man. Or is it one, sorry, one more rep it looks like it. Done and dusted. And it looks like You can see the heat taking the toll on these athletes at the moment. And uh, everyone's slowing down. That pace was set by hot cake bazingas. Sorry, bazinga hot cakes. And they are starting to drop off a little bit. However, the looks of it, no one else is chasing just yet. No one's pushing that pedal to the middle. And I do believe the heat and, of course, all the workouts beforehand. Especially that cardio workout. That cardio workout on Arena 2. It is hot, hot on that floor. When you have uh, black and gray mats there, you can only imagine how hot that gets. And yeah, are oh, your Bazinga hotcakes. They are in their final buy-in here. And they are only a few movements away from becoming your foundational Battle 2023 champions. 
But here come V-Town CrossFit Bullies. They're in second and they're about three or four reps just behind our Bazinga Hotcakes. And it's going to get hairy now. They're going to move on to those uh, 50 axle bar thrusters once they finish this buy-in. Remember, that buy-in remains the same. 20 burpees over line, 20 air squats. That has to be synchronized at the bottom as well as the top. And then they're going to jump into those 50 axle bar thrusters. It is going to be brutal. Cannot wait for this one. And remember, that axle bar is quite a thick, thick bar. So... A lot of these athletes, the smaller athletes, might just struggle in terms of gripping that bar. The worm for these men was at 80 kgs, the dumbbells at 15, and that axle bar is 20 kgs. So very manageable. And it looks like the V-Town CrossFit Bullies, they're starting to suck gas there just a little bit. And you can see there, lane number two, Bazinga Hotcakes, your current leaders, they are on the first portion of those thrusters. Moving on to the second portion now. Lane number one, Samson Stingers, they had a 68 second lead over the rest of the field. If you've just tuned in, it was a staggered start, depending on your points, where you were on the leaderboard, that gave you a staggered start so lane one lane two lane three lane four they all went off at a separate time lane one being the top of the leaderboard lane two in second lane three in third and so on all the way down to seventh so seventh place had the worst uh, start out of everyone they were last out of the gates third place is uh, quite wide open at the moment but you can see that first and second on your screen just to the right they are busy battling it out for that first and second Bazinga Hotcakes, they set a blistering, blistering pace, but it looks like they are slowing down just a bit. And on your screen, you can see how thick that bar actually is. And uh, both these men can't wrap their hands properly around the bars, and that could be quite a problem for the smaller athletes. You can see lane one there, Samson Stingers, they now back into the mix. They were falling far behind, but it looks like they are now battling it out for that third spot. Once again, they did drop down to fourth, and uh, it looks like they're back in the mix here for a, a bronze medal. But let's not count them out. Still a couple of reps to go. So the athlete, athlete closest to us, Doc Yan here in front. If he finishes, He'll turn around and then touch the mat. And that will be the time for the team. The athlete in the holding area at the back, you can see them there at the back. They do not have to cross the line. They can actually just walk back. It's all about that athlete that is uh, facing their back towards us right now. They just have to touch the mat. And that will be time for their team. And man, they are looking to take the foundational title here at the battle 2023 the dock still hanging on there on the thrusters the crossfit bullies though only 30 seconds left will anyone even finish here the zingle hotcakes looking to finish up i think they are on their final set here they might be the only team to finish But Samson Stingers have made a move here. I think they might just sneak into second. And there you have it. Unofficially, your battle champions, Bazinga Hotcakes. Five seconds left. And time. Your only team to finish. And unofficially, your champions here at the battle 2023, Bazinga Hotcakes. Walk away with that belt. What an effort. 68 seconds behind. Staggered start. And they come through to win it. And it looks like the Samson Stingers might just, might just unofficially have snuck into second. Or 
they hung on to that third place. But let's not take it away from B-Town, CrossFit Bullies. Beautiful stuff by them to come from fourth and fight for a podium spot. Don't go anywhere. Next up, we have the scaled division. <laughs>